consider question number four. This is a good problem. Uh, it says there is a sphere which is rolling without slip on two horizontal and parallel rails, and they are not in the same level. The distance between these rails is equal to the uh, radius of that sphere. And uh, if the speed of center of uh, the sphere is v, we need to find the greatest speed of a point on this sphere. So, the figure has been shown over here. There is a three dimensional uh, figure uh, situation in which figure is two dimensional. So, um, this is one of the rail that means this if we considered as one. So, this is a track or rail you can call it is running perpendicular to the screen and uh, that is a horizontal. Similarly, another horizontal rail is running from here to which is again uh, is perpendicular to the screen and uh, parallel to the first and both are horizontal, but they are not in the same label. So, that means this is uh, one is on this label, second is somewhere in this label. So, there is a difference in the label. Moreover, uh, what type of motion it is, it is like these two rails are there and this is sphere, this is spherical body and this body is rolling. Let us consider the center is moving inwards. It will be rolling, uh, moving either inward uh, or uh, outward that means parallel to the rails. So, we are considering it to be inwards. If it is uh, movi uh, moving inwards, so it must be rotating as well. Now, it will be rotating in such a way uh, that rolling is there without slip. So, this point, point 1 or point 2 where the sphere is in contact will not be moving. So, if we imagine a line joining these two points, this line. So, at any instant of time if you look at this, this is going to be behaving like instantaneous axis of rotation. Instantaneous axis of rotation. Now, since this axis is not fixed, it is moving. So, since this is moving, so we will call it as instantaneous axis of rotation. And the entire body is rotating about this axis. So, that means it is rotating like this. This is omega. Now, uh, if you have understood this, so we can think of this is uh, about uh, axis about which the entire body is purely rotating. And uh, we can have some constructions like this. Uh, we can join this to the center. This is going to be equal to the radius. We can join this to the center one point that is also equal to radius. And the distance between one and two point this is also known to us and it says it is equal to the radius. So, you will find uh, this is going to be an equilateral triangle, right? So, angle is going to be 60, each angle is going to be 60. So, let us say this angle we are writing, it is going to be 60 degree. Now, it is asking about a point where the speed is going to be maximum, greatest speed. Now, if this is the instantaneous axis of rotation, so at any instant of time, you will find the point which is farthest from this axis is going to have the maximum speed. So, you can think of the point which is farthest. So, uh, this is the center point we know the velocity of the center and this point is going to be the farthest point. Let us call this point to be p. So, velocity of the p point is going to be the maximum. Now, how to get the velocity of this point p? For that sake, we can, uh, if we can find omega, we can find the velocity because we know the distances. So, uh, we will apply this uh, velocity formula. Which formula? That means, if it is uh, rotating with omega, so velocity at any point is going to be uh, following the relation v is equal to r omega. So, using that we can solve it. So, let me write solution in short. It is going, it, uh, going to be like this. Let us say this is center point. So, velocity of center point we are going to look at. It is going to be the distance, uh, this distance. We can easily find out this perpendicular distance is going to be written as a half angle will come. Uh, 30 degree. So, we can apply cos. So, it is going to be r cos 30 degree or you can remember that uh, perpendicular distance by trigonometry. So, r cos 30 degree is going to be this into omega. This is the velocity of c point which is basically v. Now, we are interested in writing the velocity of p point. So, that is going to be basically r cos 30 that is going to be there and moreover this distance, this distance is go going to be equal to the radius. So, total distance is going to be plus r omega this is the velocity we are looking for, velocity of p point. What we can do? We can divide these two. 
when we divide these two we will get some sort of this like V divided by VP is equal to omega will get cancelled out, R will get cancelled out. So, cos third is going to be root 3 by 2 divided by root 3 by 2 plus 1. After simplification you can write it as like root 3 divided by root 3 plus 2. So, this will give the velocity of the P point which is the maximum velocity among all the points of the sphere as coming as V times within the bracket root 3 plus 2 divided by root 3 or you can simplify like this V within the bracket 1 plus 2 by root 3. So, that will become the maximum velocity of a point on that sphere and hence this is our answer. Okay. Thank you.